Okay, welcome back. We're continuing with trying to understand how the maximum likelihood works in terms of finding the optimal parameters for a logistic regression function. And in the previous video, we ended up over here. We saw what the likelihood function is. It's this pi times the probability of xi to the power of yi multiplied by 1 minus the probability of xi to the power of 1 minus yi. And really we saw, because it's a supervised learning problem, we saw that if we plug 1, if our actual output is 1, then 1 goes in there, that becomes a 1, and this becomes 0. So this part falls away, and we're left with a the probability of x1. Okay, And then we move on to the next case or example. If the output is 0, then we, this guy falls away and we're left with this guy. 1 minus the probability of this case, this example, and so on and so forth. And so what, what we were seeing is that, what we're really trying to say is that if the actual output is 1, we want the probability to be uh, as high as possible. We want the probability to be, to be as close as possible to 1. So this term is we want to be close to 1, whereas if the actual output is 0, we want the probability of this um, example, this case, to be as close as possible to 0, which makes this thing as close as possible to 1. I hope it's not too confusing. But the point is that what this, this likelihood function is doing is it we want each of these terms to be as close as possible to one. We want to maximize the likelihood. Okay, but um, what, what most people do is, instead of using these, this function over here with the, with the pi, where you multiply these probabilities, what we want to do rather is we want to convert this into a log likelihood and then compute the maximum log likelihood. And this really just makes the algebra a lot simpler. So let's convert, uh, we want to convert this equation, right, this likelihood equation into a log likelihood. Okay, and if you do this, so the log likelihood then becomes, I'm just going to write the log of L beta is then equal to, remember the, the pi, which is, refers to the multiplying each term, now this becomes, because we're logging it, if that's the right word, I don't think it's the right word, it becomes a summation, i equals 1 to n of y i log of the probability of x i plus 1 minus y i times the log of 1 minus the probability of xi. All right? So you can see it's still the same idea. If, if, that's meant to be an i and an f, if in my supervised learning problem, if my actual output y is equal to 1, meaning the, the person passed or the person had a... Um, a malignant tumor or the person got the loan right whatever your one is whatever your one is in your in your binary classification if y equals one then you can see this second term falls away and then we simply have log of the probability of that specific case if y equals zero then you can see this guy falls away and we have, we're left with log of 1 minus the probability of x, of whatever that x was. And so we're still trying to maximize this. Remember, inside this probability function are our parameters B, uh, B0, B1, and however large your parameter space was. So remember, we're trying to vary our beta parameters so that we maximize we want to maximize 
the log likelihood. Okay? So that's what we want to do. We, so we, we go through each every, and every case. If that in a supervised learning, if Y output was one, we plug one in, we plug one in there and we get this value. Then we add, um, then we add the, the next value and we add the next value and we add the next value and we, we're carrying out the summation of the logs of the probability or the, um, the log of one minus the probability. Okay, so remember, I keep talking about this in the last few videos, okay, to get a big, the bird's eye view. Number one, you've got your data set, right? If it's a regression problem, then we can use linear regression, or if it's a classification problem, we can use linear logistic regression. But the first thing you need to ask is, okay, what's your model? What's your model? Second is, what is your cost function? And third is what is the algorithm to kind of maximize that cost function or minimize that cost function. Okay. So I just want to recap in, in logistic regression, the model that we use is our uh, one over one plus E to the minus beta zero plus beta one X. And remember, this is just for a simple one uh, input feature. But if you want to generalize it, this could become beta transpose x, uh, where x could be, you know, 10 input features, 100 input features. Okay, so this is the logistic function. So this is the model that we want to use on our data. So now there's our data like that. And we want to fit that model. This is the model that we're trying to fit. Number two, what is our cost function? It is the log likelihood. The log likelihood. Okay. Which we've just done there. And number three, now uh, we'll cover the first portion of this in this video and then the next in that. There are essentially two basic ideas. And there's variations of this. But there's two ideas for how we solve for the maximum likelihood. Remember, we want to maximize the likelihood. Um, and the first idea is <clears throat> simply to use gradient descent. Okay. And the second is to use Newton's method. Newton's method. newton rapson method. And remember, there's variations of gradient descent. Um, you can have the basic gradient descent, but then there's all kinds of... Remember, optimization is a, an entire field. And so gradient descent, there's many variations of gradient descent. But essentially, let's look at gradient descent now. So this, these are the algorithms that you could use, right? To solve, what are we trying to do here? We're trying to solve for the optimal parameters so that what so that the this function this logistic function best fits the actual data in our supervised learning pro, um, problem okay so how about I stop here and in the next video we'll actually um, do a quick overview of gradient descent and Newton's method okay see you in the next one